Hello, I'm Neil Patrick Harris. I'm going to fill you in on a little secret. Improv isn't that hard to do. It's hard to do well, but it's not that hard to do. All you have to do is follow the rules, listen, and add information. That's it. You know, when I travel the country doing my shows, I, I meet people every day that tell me they improvise. They improvise at their universities, at high schools, even small theaters like this. I even get some people tell me they improvise at home with their families. Personally, I think that's kind of sad, but you know, some people don't have cable. So here's a little sample of what we do here at my theater, The Upfront in Bellingham, Washington. Enjoy. Welcome to the show. How are you, folks? Nice to see you. Right up front here. How are you? Everything good? Very distinguished. Very nice. What's the special occasion? You dress like this all the time? Oh, you're with Vernon. You look fantastic, though. The, with the whole uh, in the blue. What's that color? What is that color? Robin's egg blue. Oh. I would have just said blue, but you've uh, Robin's egg blue. Very nice. Very nice. I didn't get your name. What is your name? Tom. Tom. What do you do for a living, Tom? I'm a pharmacist. You're a pharmacist? Oh. <laughs> that explains how you know all the colors, Tom. <laughs> it's Robin Eggs Blue. What's the most popular drug right now? What are, probably blood pressure medications and stuff like that, right? What's the most exotic drug? Exotic drug? Yeah. Uh, What's the one you go, ooh, boy, this person must be... <laughs> what would that drug be? I try not to make those judgments. You don't? So you, you know what you're doing, though, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ever take your work home with you? <laughs> How's the Xanax thing going? Is that all right? It's big. Yeah, I like the Xanax. I take a little Xanax when I fly because I get a little nervous when I fly. So. Sure. It is big. What's the ultimate, well, how high can you get Xanax? I take, I take, point, uh, I take .25, that's low, right? That's low. Yeah, it's low. So what, what can you go up to? Two. 2.00? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so that's, that's eight times what I'm taking. Oh man, I haven't been flying at all, have I really? <laughs> we'll wait. Here, let me get that. Let me get that. Yeah, I'll get that. Yeah, let me get that. Hello? 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 Hi. Hi. I'm sorry? Hold on one sec. I can't hear you. I have to put you on speakerfold. Hold on. Sorry, what? Hello? Um, is, is this Bridget's phone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> It is Bridget's can I, phone. Can I, can I speak to her? Uh, she's getting dressed in the bathroom right now. Who's this? <laughs> Who's this? This is her son. Oh, oh. <laughs> I hung up. When you can walk out on stage, not have anything planned, that is what makes life worthwhile. I'm Kent, I'm an oil refinery worker, a parent and a grandparent, and my job has a lot of stress on a daily basis. And when I can walk out that stage door in front of a crowd, working with people that I love, there's no expectations, no rules, and I can have as much fun as humanly possible, that's where the magic is. You've got the first pick, Carol. Sit oh, down. All right. Okay. All right. You need to pick a quarterback. That's a QB. Okay. Cynthia, uh, you're going to have the second pick, and and don't pick a QB. That's terrible advice. Okay. Now, now I read an article about this guy. Those he articles has, mean nothing. No, he has a rescue shelter that he supports as his charity. <laughs> Shelter. So I'm picking him. No, there's no oh, doubt. Perfect. Oh. Perfect. Yes. Yes. What if, what if he's. This was a great person? idea. Tom. Then he plays for the Cowboys. <laughs> this is this was a great idea, Tom. Isn't Real there good. just gonna yell at me through the I'm not gonna thing. yell at you, I'm encouraging you with a lot of volume. I just my friends. <laughs> okay. 
All right. So my that's pick. Good. Is this it? Yeah, it's fine. My last guy. pick in the draft. Yeah, that's it. Is Russell Wilson still available? No, he's not. Uh, how about Des Bryant? Is he still available? Why don't you look at who's available and pick your player? <laughs> Sweetie, you can do this. You can do I'm this. I'm not sure that he can. Sweetie might not be able to grow a head of hair, but he can pick a football team. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sweetheart. Let me just. Are you telling me this thing is not real? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I'm sorry. I wow. I did not know. I by, by what you said, I assumed, but that was shocking. <laughs> I had to quit playing high school football as a kid because I helmet just spun around in circles. There was nothing. I'm Jane, and I'm a waitress and a student. And one of the things that I really enjoy about improvising is not knowing where we're going with a story and discovering that with each other on stage as well as with the audience. It's kind of magical when none of us really know where we're going and when we arrive and we all arrive together. We tried to bury him. What do you mean you try? We're on the beach of yeah. Normandy. The tide had... The tide just went out. <laughs> and this... Went out. We didn't see the seagulls until no. it was too late. I didn't know crabs could cluster so much. <laughs> so. My name's Matt, uh, and I work in marketing. The great thing with improv is that it's not like stand-up in that uh, the success of a scene is really dictated by the uh, collaboration of everyone on stage, whether you just walk through the scene or whether or not you're the big character in the center of focus. Uh, if people laugh at it and we're able to tell a compelling story, then everyone comes out ahead and it's a great experience. We salvaged some of his chocolate. <laughs> it's almond sea salt. It was his favorite. Yeah. There might be extra sea, sea salt on that. <laughs> um, well, in case anything happened, he always wanted me to give these two letters to his best friends. And I think that that time has come. We don't know who they are. <laughs> That's us, oh. Roy. Come on. I was careful not to read them. I was oh, very respectful. Are they identical? Or? I don't, I didn't read them. <laughs> to Gary and Terry. These are identical letters. I just wanted to let you two know that there's a secret about me that you may have no clue about. You know a lot of my mannerisms? Well, I'm actually... It got smudged right yeah, there. Smudge. Uh, my name is Billy, and I, uh, I love doing characters on stage. I, uh, I play a multitude of characters, and I get to practice that at home because I'm a stay-at-home dad. Uh, so I really uh, interact with my kids a lot uh, with different characters, and we play uh, all the time that way. Listen, I've got a, I've got a couple of barrels of liquor showing up. I got a little bitty guy, looks kind of like a girl. He'll be here any minute. <laughs> liquor for you. <laughs> Bring it right over here. Oh, hi. Why, aren't you a small but refreshing drink of water? Okay. Why don't you have a seat? You're touching me. No. <laughs> I can't get enough of your arms. They're just like, like the pasta they served down at that Italian joint. <laughs> I was known as the noodle in the tent. You like to go to jazz clubs, baby? Sure. You like to do a little hot dancing on a cold night in Chicago? Sure. Uh, if by dancing you mean watching, then sure. Cut to the dance club three days later. Hey, 
If by Charleston you mean watch you, then yes. 